What are the five things that you can learn from hedge funds so that you can increase your retail trading account profits? We are going to talk about that today coming up next. First thing that hedge funds do is they would have about 20 to 30 open positions all at one time. Now, if you look at the retail trading industry, okay, very often they would have maybe one to four open positions at one time. They often neglect this thing called correlation. Do you know that if you have four open positions at one time, you are overexposing yourself to four times the risk if all of the currencies trades that you made are all correlated to each other. A lot of retail traders, they think that opening a lot of positions means diversifying. It all comes down to correlation. Are those positions correlated or inversely correlated to each other? Now the key to diversifying properly is to make sure that all the open positions you have, they have low correlation with each other. And the other way that you can diversify properly is don't just focus on forex trading. I do stocks, I also do commodities. So hedge fund managers, they are going to long shot different asset classes at one time. Can be stocks, futures, options, derivatives. Now the second thing that you can learn from hedge fund is don't over leverage. Now even though hedge funds, they make money for their clients by using leverage. Yes, they do use leverage, but there's a certain point of leverage that is too high and hence too stupid to use. This is what a lot of people don't tell you. The retail trading industry is built to allow brokers to make money. Okay, retail traders, they are brainwashed to trade in such a way that they can benefit nobody else but the broker. I see way too many retail traders, they get attracted to, you know, three digit leverage, like ones to 100, ones to 400, ones to 500. This kind of leverage, I can tell they are for amateur retail traders. And the third thing that hedge funds do is that they are going to do their homework and not just any homework that you do for two hours and then you submit to your teacher. Okay, teacher, I'm done. Your teacher throw back you and then it's like, what crappy shit. And before they make a trade, they are going to analyze and research and analyze and research and sometimes up to a few months before and only to make the trade three to six months after that when the opportunity presents itself. So why do it take so long to do that? Isn't it just as simple as looking at a few indicators? No. In the hedge fund industry, a very popular strategy is called macro strategy and this involves using a lot of fundamentals, fundamental analysis and this is what a lot of retail traders, they don't really like to learn. Like yes, you need indicators. Yes, you need the charts. But if you put your 100% focus on it and you wonder why, Carol, why is it that after six months, I'm still not making money? Then I think that is the reason why you're trading inside a bubble. Like you're living in your own world. Now the fourth thing that you can learn is they not only invest time into their career, but they invest money on their trading accounts, on their investing accounts. In the context of Asia, to become a hedge fund manager, bare minimum, you gotta have a finance degree, economics degree. Also some hedge fund, they hire people with engineering degree because they just want people who are really good at numbers, analyzing, thinking, just to earn that degree alone. To get you into the interview room requires at least three to four years of studying every single day about accounting, about business, about financial statements, about how to analyze a stock. And not only that, you need to go through maybe one to two years of professional training. And then you need to take another maybe six months to get yourself from red to green. So if you think about this, at least five years. And yet a lot of retail traders, they are complaining, Cam, why is it taking me so long? I've been learning, I'm putting in the work for a whole entire year and their work is when they come home from school, when they come home from work, they look at the charts for two hours. Maybe two hours on Saturday, one hour on Sunday because they need to go out to shopping because that's the most important priority in my life. And then comes the fifth thing that you can learn from hedge funds is a lot of hedge funds, they set up a whole entire company. They get clients, they hire staff. Do you think that they do all these things, do all this work just so that they can run their business for maybe one to 10 months? Hedge funds trade for long-term wealth. Whereas retail traders, they trade for short-term monthly income. Now there's a difference between trading for wealth versus trading for income. When your whole entire mindset is revolving around, okay, let me just trade for income, you would have the tendency to withdraw money and then not let your account compound. If you need the money for food, for rent, feel free to withdraw. But 
I'm talking about those traders who withdraw money to buy Gucci bag, to buy Versace shoes. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong because I do have Versace shoes, but I buy one pair every three years. What I'm talking about are those people who buy one freaking Gucci shoes every single week. As if the Gucci shoes is more important than your trading account, then let it be that way. And you know why a lot of retail traders, they withdraw? Because again, in the retail trading industry, people brainwash you. Trade for income today with me, buy my signals. Have you ever seen an advertisement that tell you, today you can start trading with me and then you can retire 10 years later with a lot of money. But for now, you're gonna have to eat ramen for the next three years. Yes, do you think people are gonna buy? The hedge funds use the power of compounding to grow their accounts. They can still survive without withdrawing anything because in hedge funds, they charge this fee called management fee and it's often between 1% to 2%. So if you're managing a billion dollar hedge fund and you charge 1% management fee, you can more or less count approximately how much are you earning a year. Withdraw a little bit to reward yourself, but don't withdraw everything. You know the person that you see on a private jet, he probably get there by spending the past 20 years eating ramen every single day and then living in a small studio apartment having all his friends laugh at him or her. You gotta sacrifice short-term comfort now to be able to enjoy long-term comfort for the rest of your life. In fact, you don't really need comfort in your life. The more comfortable you feel, the more you feel like sleeping. Now, if you want to know what strategies that pro traders use, I've done a video in the past. You can go and check it out. And with that, I'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye.